So Sam Harris, you know, he's the uh, super smarty pants guy who says dumb shit all the time. Dumber than I'll ever say. And this is one of them. So what he's doing is he's saying the quiet part out loud. So what he's talking about is um, he's all for censorship and he's all for nefarious illegal shit as long as it helps his side politically because he he thinks Trump is worse than Joe Biden and worse than George Bush and Barack Obama. Uh, he's wrong about that. And so here we go. Watch this. Hunter Biden. At that point, Hunter Biden literally could have had, had the corpses of children in his basement. I would not have cared. Right. It's like it's, there's nothing. First of all, it's Hunter Biden. Right. It's not. It, so he doesn't. So we basically he'll shield. I don't care. I, I will shield a child killer. If it helps my political point of view. OK, that's that's Jeez. his jumping off point. OK, here we go. And and he says it like it's smart. That's the beauty of this guy. Like he says the dumbest things possible and he says them <laughs> as if they're smart. <laughs> well, he'll tell he's going to keep doing it for another minute. Watch like it's not Joe Biden, but. Even if Joe, like even the, whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like if you if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and whatever the scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, it is much bigger than Donald Trump's. Yes, that's the fact. But he's going to turn reality upside down and inside out because he's a partisan. He's and he's going to sound just as dumb as the overly religious people he's lampooned his entire career he's going to sound dumber than them he's sounding dumber than them right now because i a pothead dumb guy can pick him apart and doing it with glee by the way here we go and why because he's an imperialist liar that's why i don't like him and on, okay let's back it up a little so he's going to he's going to talk about whole, trump versus biden trump versus biden corruption ready <laughs> Whatever scope of Joe Biden's corruption is, like if you if we could just go down that rabbit hole endlessly and and understand that he's getting kickbacks from Hunter Biden's deals in Ukraine or wherever else, right, or China, it is infinitesimal compared to the corruption we know Trump is involved in. No, he's just making. So, did you hear what he just said? He said, "I don't care if Joe Biden and his son." are doing nefarious illegal deals and getting kickbacks from China and Ukraine. Those are two countries we're trying to start a nuclear war with right now. And he doesn't care about that. What does he care about? Trump's university. You know the difference between those two scandals? Trump university didn't involve the power of the government. Nobody voted for Trump's university. You see the difference? Trump's university didn't have the power of the government to do anything to you or to release propaganda. Or to start a war? Joe Biden and his kid, they have all that power. So that's why he's a thousand percent wrong. And his jumping off point that somehow Trump University is a bigger scandal than Joe Biden and Hunter Biden taking kickbacks from Ukraine and China? Not to mention that, but uh, the great Sam Harris was also once quoted saying, Osama bin Laden is far less reprehensible personally to me than Donald Trump. So that's this. So this is a this is what you call Trump derangement syndrome. And that's a guy who's just as Sam Harris proving he's just as dumb as Louis Gohmert. <laughs> he's just as dumb. And you want to and again, you want to see he's so dumb. The guy who's who are hosting this podcast, who I'm sure respected him and were thrilled to have him on. They they can't let it go past. They challenge him. By the way, I've been on this show. It's a great show. It's called Triggered Pod. And I think they're libertarians. So we don't agree on everything, but we agree on some some things. And uh, at least they're honest. I like these guys because they're at least honest. We disagreed, I think, on COVID, but we agreed on other things. But watch this. It's like it's like it's like a firefly to the sun. Right. I mean, like there's just it doesn't even it doesn't even stack up against Trump University. Right. Trump University as a story is worse than anything that could be in, in Hunter Biden's laptop. That's just patently false. That's just a guy wishing that to be true. You're wishing that. That's called a guy who never talks to anybody outside his bubble. I don't even know if he talks to Joe Rogan anymore. Because they parted on COVID. But here we go. In my view, right? Now, that's not, that doesn't answer the people who say it's still completely unfair to not have looked at the laptop in a timely way and to have shut down the, you know, the New York Post's 
Twitter account. Like that, that's a, just a conspiracy. That's a left wing conspiracy to deny the presidency to Donald Trump. Absolutely. It was absolutely. He's saying the quiet part out loud, ladies and gentlemen. So now all those people on January 6th, they had a point is what he's saying, because there was a huge left wing conspiracy to deny Donald Trump the presidency. He's admitting it. By the way, it was already admitted in Time magazine uh, front page story. But here I'll here he is admitting it. That's what he's doing right now. Right, Jackson, I'm not missing this, am I? He's admitting that there was a left wing conspiracy to deny Donald Trump the presidency. And if it, if we had to lie to do it, we'll do it. And if we had to censor accurate information, we do it. We don't care because Donald Trump is a big problem. That's what he's saying, right? hundred mm-hmm. percent. He's saying that and he says like, yeah, I condone that and I support that. And yeah, that's a subversion of democracy. But this is exactly what, you know, we want. And You know, it's interesting because you had those 51 national security officials that came out and said that the Hunter Biden laptop story was fake Russian news. Uh, We all know that wasn't a mistake. And that just this what he's saying now, you know, when you have elite liberal uh, ideologues like this that are coming out and saying that this was a conspiracy against Donald Trump, it just confirms everything we knew. It was not a mistake. This was a you know, this was a conspiracy, a covert effort to try and, you know, withhold the presidency from Trump. And so let's now those now the hosts of the show push back. Right. But I think it was warranted. Right. And I'm and again, it's a coin toss as to whether or not Sam, I'm sorry, that particular piece. I'm, I'm really yeah. sorry. I, I was the one that said we should move yeah, on. Yeah. But you've just oh, said yeah. something I really struggle with it. that, which is the, you kid, support, the, kid, the, kid, the kids in the basement. You no, no. <laughs> fuck yeah. the kids in the basement. I mean, yeah. so it's funny that they say fuck the kids in the basement because that's basically been the United States. You know, fuck the kids. This is about democracy. That's basically been our foreign policy <laughs> for the last 40 years. And that's Sam's policy on Palestine, because he doesn't care how many Palestinian kids get killed by Israel. Fuck the kids. This is important. It's about my, it's about my side winning. Also, pretty much uh, Bill, uh, Bill Clinton's relationship with Epstein and his associates, right? Yeah, fuck the kids. Yeah. yeah. In democracy, you are saying you are content with a left-wing conspiracy to prevent somebody being democratically re-elected as president. Well, no, I'm, I'm content. Well, so it's, but the thing is, it's just not left-wing, right? So Liz Cheney is not left-wing, right? Liz Cheney You're is doing everything in her power. You're content with a conspiracy to prevent somebody no, being democratic. So he tries to weasel out of it semantically just now. Did you see that? Well, it's not a left-wing conspiracy. So he's, he knows the question this guy's asking. Sam now realizes he's stepped in it, and there's no getting out of it. So he tried to play a word game there like a pussy, and the guy caught him. He goes, okay, you're okay with a conspiracy. So he got him. And and yes, the answer is yes. Watch. So Liz Cheney is not left wing, right? Liz Cheney is doing everything in her power. To prevent somebody being democratic. No, but there's nothing, conspiracy, it's not, it it was a conspiracy out in the open. It does, but it doesn't matter if it was, it doesn't matter what part's conspiracy, what part's out in the open. I mean, I think it's like if people get together and talk and talk about what should we do with, about this phenomenon, you know, if, if it's like if there, if there was an asteroid hurtling toward Earth and and we got in a room together with all of our friends and had a conversation about what we could do to deflect its course. Right. Is that a conspiracy? You know, like some of. The- mm. uh, yes, actually, it is. A conspiracy is when two or more people conspire to do anything. That's called a conspiracy. So a guy who now is pretending not to know the definition of words, anything, because he got called out by these two guys for being a right-wing authoritarian fascist who's cool with censorship as long as it is the kind that helps him. And, of course, the problem with that is that when the other side is in power, then they're going to use that same kind of shit on you. And that's why we can't have this. Right? You have to have a consistent standard and you have to have ethics and ideals. And if you don't stand by your ethics and values when it's hard to do it, like during Trump, then they're not values. They're hobbies. If you don't stand by your values when it's difficult, they're not values. They're hobbies, as John Stewart said. And so what I said to that bullshit was, hey, I'm for censorship if it helps my side politically. I mean, I just can't see a downside to thinking like this because I don't read history and I'm super smarter than you. 
Now that did very well. I got eleven thousand. Now I normally don't trend like that because there's there's some kind of suppression on my tweets. But somehow they let this go through. And what happened? Boom! Sammy blocked me over that. Ha. Huh. Showing him to be just as thin-skinned as every person he's ever made fun of. Trump. So the people who hate Trump the most are the most like Trump in their shadow, if you know anything about Jungian psychology. And they project this part of themselves that they hate fiercely onto someone else. This, In this case, it's Trump. That's why you see the guys like uh, uh, Cenk Uger. You see the guys like Keith Olbermann or guys like this. They hate The people who hate him the most are the ones who are most like Trump in their shadow. And that's Sam Harris. And that's what this is. He didn't block me because I'm an annoying troll. He blocked me because I'm going to say shit that he doesn't want to hear that's true. And he thinks doing this will stop it. And it won't. Um, James Hanna, former NFL great, says, I was his biggest fan for several years after college. I don't know what has changed him, me, the whole world, all of them. But whatever it is, I'm ashamed at how much I used to look up to him. Me too. Me too. Down here it says, it all changed when he went after Brent Weinstein for speaking on the risks of mandating a novel COVID vaccine. If Brent can't ask, who can? Not very scientific, Sam. That's right. I didn't see where he went after Brent. I didn't, I didn't uh, know about that. But that's, if he did, that shows you the lightweightedness of Sam Harris. And he is a lightweight when it comes to anything outside of talking about atheism. He gets his ass handed to him, no matter where it is, no matter what they talk about. I saw him try to debate Robert Shear and Chris Hedges about the Middle East. He got his ass, he looked like an idiot. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's just arranged. I mean, like, you, <laughs> regardless of what you think of Donald Trump or not, I personally don't like him. and I thought he was a weak leader or whatever. But, you know, he sees Donald Trump and the democratic will of the people of this country that elected him as the equivalent of a meteor headed towards earth to kill us all that's what he said in there and that's how he views the democratic process therefore we need to have the deep state come in and you know subvert democracy uh i like this one it says it's great these clowns are just coming out hold on what's the matter there thank you it's great these clowns are just coming out saying the quiet parts out loud this guy says quite <laughs> looking at former CIA director Hayden. What did he say recently? Do you know? Do you know what he's referring to, Jackson? Uh, Hayden came out and said that uh, he's former CIA director. He said that of all the different terrorist groups that he's encountered and, and had to surveil throughout his career, none come close to the threats that the Republican Party thro- uh, poses to this country. Yeah. Okie dokie. No one has mastered the art of talking a lot while saying nothing quite like Sam Harris. I'd have to disagree with you. (laughs) (laughs) That's my buddy. That's our buddy. Uh, Jesus Christ. I like this. Jesus Christ, this is absurd. So he's saying it doesn't matter what people actually vote for. People like him shouldn't be allowed to conspire people like him should be allowed to conspire and censor to achieve their own political ends this is elitism at its finest little sammy doesn't get to make your decisions for you and no you don't sam there's another one you can't be pro-censorship and anti-fascist if you are pro-censorship time to lose the antifa from your profile very well said This is the same Sam Harris who preaches about uh, mediation and wellness, emphasizing importance of not allowing ridiculous thoughts to distract your focus. He's one big ridiculous thought. Yes, he is. Even with his beard. Uh, Sam Harris then tweeted this. Did you see this, Jackson? He tried to walk it back. He goes, there's a podcast clip circulating that seems to be confusing many people about my views on Trump, which is understandable because I wasn't speaking very clearly. So for what it's worth, here's what I was trying to say. I like what this guy says. Avi Yemeni says, you were speaking very, very clearly, (laughs) and we all understood. Nice try. So Sam's tweet got 3,000 likes. 
And the guy who responded to him got 7,000 likes. And what did Sam Harris do? He blocked him. He's blocking another blue check. I think it's weird when you block blue check people. I'm not saying it's good. There are instances where it should be done. So here's what he says. So you want to hear his bullshit response? Here's what here's his bullshit response. He says, I was essentially arguing for a principle of self-defense where there's a continuum of proportionate force that is appropriate and necessary to you. I don't even know what that means. I don't even who it, it, it means I fucked up and now I'm trying to use big words and complex sentences to distract to distract <laughs> you from my b- bullshit ideology. That's what that is. And then he says, I've always viewed Trump as a very dangerous person to elect as president of a fake university. He won't let that university thing go. Let alone the United States. And when he became a sitting president who would not commit to a peaceful transfer of power, I viewed him as more dangerous still. However, I've never been under any. What, when did he not commit to a. Did he not commit to a peaceful. Tra- didn't he tell the people at the. January 6th to go home? Yeah, I think he did. I, I don't I know. Think. So that's what they're talking about, though, right? They're talk- that's what that means, January 6th? That's what that means, January 6th? Sorry, you, you froze but up. But that's what he I, means by that, right? That he means January 6th by this. Dangerous still. Yeah. So then he goes, on the podcast, I was speaking narrowly. Oh, were you? <laughs> this is brilliant. I was speaking narrowly about the wisdom and propriety of ignoring the Hunter Biden laptop story until after the election. No, they were you're not ignoring it. It's called censoring. That's not ignoring. You get to personally ignore it if you want, but censoring it so everyone else doesn't get that same opportunity is called censorship. Jimmy, he he called it a left-wing conspiracy. He, he in the it. video. He it's call- not an ignoring. It's not an accident. He called it a, he called it what it is. I've always thought that this was a very hard call. Not a hard call. You don't you don't censor accurate information to to help your political side. Not a hard call. Not a hard call. Uh ethically and journalistically. Well, that's why you're not any you're worth shit ethically and journalistically. You wrote a good book about atheism and you have no ethics and you're shit journalistically, Sam. That's a fact. Uh, But given what happened with the Anthony Weiner laptop in the previous election, I think it was probably the right call. What? What is he even talking about? I don't know. Do you know what he's talking about, Jackson? No, I don't. I don't either. So nothing. I think think maybe referring to the ignoring. Oh, okay. Nothing I said on that podcast was meant to suggest that the Democrats would have been right to commit election fraud or take other illegal measures to deny Trump the presidency, nor do I think they did that. Well, then why did you say that? You said it. You said it. You said it was. You said it was a left wing conspiracy and it was fine (laughs) if they censored that stuff, even if it was accurate, because you don't care. Trump's a bigger problem. You think Trump's a bigger criminal than Joe Biden. That's your first fatally flawed uh, thought. Joe Biden, much bigger criminal than Donald Trump. He's a much bigger, much bigger war criminal. Uh, What you said was quite clear. They're responding to Sam Harris. If the ruling class deems a politician unacceptable... It's within their right to censor news outlets, spread fake stories, and bury real ones in order to swing the election to their preferred candidate, which is about as undemocratic as it gets. That's what he is saying. He's saying that if the ruling class deems a politician unacceptable, like they did Donald Trump, then it's okay if they can censor news outlets, they can spread fake stories, which was Russiagate was, and they can bury real ones like the Hunter Biden laptop. That's what that's what Sam Harris believes because he said it. The hosts were also incredulous and gave him several opportunities for an out, and he just kept digging. He all he was always like this. He totally ignores U.S. imperialism and its harm to society and blames religion for all the woes of the world. This guy's despicable. He's okay with the Iraq war. That he still thinks all the wars are started because of religion. 
The wars are not started because of religion. The wars are started because capitalists want to go steal natural resources from somebody else's country. And he's too dumb to know that. Sam Harris, the dumbest smart guy on the Internet. <laughs> you have to be a special kind of stupid to accept this guy's take on overlooking political grifting as though we should accept it because Trump's bad. The political establishment is projecting their nefarious agenda as not only acceptable, but beneficial to us. So that's what he's saying. He's saying, hey, we have this secret thing that we censor thing and we try to uh, uh, believe me, it's good for you, too. That's exactly what every dictator says. They're doing it for you. They're censoring for you, for your protection. And Sam Harris is 100% on board like that. So he's not different than the religious radicals that he lampoons. He's the other side of the coin. He has his faith and religion in government, right-wing capitalist governments that do imperialism. That's what Sam Harris is. That's where he can't see anything wrong. He thinks what Dick Cheney wanted to do in the Middle East, he called it, he wanted to turn it into Nebraska, make it nice and quiet with a McDonald's and a Kentucky Fried Chicken. You know what that's called? That's called imperialism. <laughs> you don't get to decide how someone else's country looks, Sam. And that's so he's OK with torture. He's OK with Dick Cheney and the Iraq war. He's OK with George Bush. He's OK with every horrible thing. He's OK with kill. He's OK with killing journalists in Palestine. He's OK with killing kids in Palestine. He's OK with everything. That's who Sam Harris is. Uh, the first clue this guy didn't care about civil liberties was when he wanted extrajudicial torture of terror suspects and ethnic profiling. Or saying blacks have low IQ, but that. I don't know. I didn't know he said that. So I, I can't challenge. I can't uh, stand for the veracity of that statement, but I can for this. But that didn't raise anyone's ire. Somehow only this put him at odds with his supporters. Isn't that wild? Yes, it is. Your zealotry is bad. My zealotry is good. That's what he's. These people are unreal. That's what he's saying. Your zealotry. Is Go ahead. He's made an entire career off of criticizing religions and poking holes in, you know, the logic of religions. Yet he's he's created a cult and a religion around the Democratic Party. That's exactly and that, right. And the FBI and the CIA, for that matter, too. And here's the Time magazine thing I told you about. Uh, the secret history of shadow campaign that saved the 2020 election. And she talks all about it. How there was a left wing conspiracy labor unions and capitalists and corporatists and corporations and media figures all working in conjunction in secret. I like the, here it is. I, I paraphrased this joke earlier. Forget the dead kids. I care about democracy was a funny line because that was essentially the slogan of our foreign policy in the Middle East. <laughs> so there's your genius, Sam Harris. The guy can't, the guy gets... Taken apart by two podcasters with, who weren't even trying. Believe me, they, it looked like he had more of a broken heart. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. may, maybe I'm wrong, but I, I think they brought him on as some sort of uh, a hero, and and it's it's hard to get your heart broken like that. That's how I felt about Samaras when I saw him on Bill Maher talking about how it's, all the wars are started by Muslim religions and Christianity and the Jewish uh, Judaism is fantastic and. And our our books are better than their books. Their books are bad. The Quran is bad, but the Bible's good. Uh, I can find you. The, the Bible is full of crazy, crazy, crazy shit. Um. Anyway, anything <laughs> you want to say, Jackson? Well, I, I guess uh, the problem isn't that. I think we all knew that that this guy, Sam Harris probably thought like this, but the problem isn't that he thinks like this. It's that the FBI thinks like this. That's correct. That's exact. The FBI thinks it's their job to, to do anything illegal, nefarious shadow under the board, under, uh, under the radar, if uh, to throw an election and that we know that they do that. They, well, they're spy gate. They lied to get FISA warrants on Trump. Who did the FBI? They lied. They lied to get a, they put spies in his campaign. They, everything they said about Russiagate was a lie. Hey, we're coming to Tulsa, Oklahoma City, Detroit, Los Angeles, Spokane, Tacoma, Denver. Go to jimmydorkcomedy.com for a link for all our tickets for all our live shows. See you there. Mm -hmm.